Morgan Hill reopened today, less than two days after an employee who had just been fired killed two managers. Tonight, community members gathered to remember the victims. Night Beats Marie Medina was there as dozens lit candles in the victim's memory. Maria? Yeah, this is a small, tight-knit community, and you could feel that tonight. This is where the candlelight vigil was held, about a mile away from that Ford store where that tragic shooting took place just two days ago. Among the sea of candles, among the crowd, including police officers and city leaders, were the families and friends of victims Brian Light and Xavier Soto. Surrounded by the support of a community who joined in their moment of grief. We're praying for them, for God's peace to be with them. For Kathy De La Cruz, the shooting that took place at the Ford dealership on Condit Road Tuesday night will impact her family forever. Her grandson works at the store. We heard the gunshots and the employees all ran next door to the hotel. Minutes after the shooting, police found the gunman Stephen Leet in a parking lot. He'd killed himself after shooting Soto, who'd fired him earlier that day. Leet then turned the gun on Light, who tried to disarm him. Police called Light's final moments heroic. It's nice that it's not just coworkers or people who know them. It's nice that it's a lot of the communities here. I was, I was hoping it wasn't him. Clyde Pineda knew Soto for several years. Their sons went to the same martial arts studio. Unfortunately, when found out his name came up, and it was like, wow. For Clyde and so many others attending tonight's community candlelight vigil, it was their way to show the victims' families they are not alone in their grief and to remember two men who died suddenly and tragically. Definitely a gentle giant, just a family man. It's just definitely not, definitely not real. And like you said, the Ford store opened for the first time since the shooting today. Not all employees showed up to work today, however. Grief counselors were on hand. Live in the Night Beat, I'm Marie Medina.